Hello, my lovelies. So, Cap Nano is over. The last day is done. And crazy three days have <laughs> <I> passed. <laughs> so, I decided uh, four days ago that I, four or five days ago, that I was was going to do law, a long stream to celebrate the end of Nano or Camp Nano. I did not originally tend it in the beginning of the week. I tend to do three 10 hour streams in a row, but that is what happened. I did three 10 hour streams in a row. Last three days of camp. And you know, the weird thing is, it was easy. It was crazy how easy it was. I think I enjoy writing with my lovely writing community a little too much. That might be the also thing. So yeah, I did not win with my goal. I was maybe a little too ambitious with the person that, uh, no, no, person. With, with my goals, with my speed of editing. So my goal was to try to edit 40k. I had originally planned on 50, thought, no, I'm a very slow editor. I am doing intense editing in one go. Going three, since that's using Pro Writing Aid, Hemingway, Grammarly, and my own editing to thoroughly edit as much as I can. And I am a slow editor with that process, especially with that process, but I, in general, I'm a slow editor. So when I'm editing my own stuff, especially considering, oh, especially, considering my insecurities because of my dyslexia, I want to make sure my writing is good or as good as I can make it. So I lessened the goal to 40K and it was like, is it, am I maybe being too being too ambitious? Maybe, maybe not. But I am. I did not win. I did not reach forty k of editing, but I got thirty four k. I was. I'm missing sixty k. And sixty. I'm missing six k. So I have six thousand words left. I could try. I could probably finish them. To, this Sunday when this video is coming out because I'm going to post it on Sunday even though you guys already have probably already gotten four videos or few, four new timers or the timers I've been using the last week because I freaking love it I freaking love it these are my favorite timers so far my map timers I freaking love them expect many more of map timers because this one is a sucker for map timers or just map in general so yeah, so how did I do 10 hour streams three, in, three days in a row? Beside the fact being a very obsessive personality, like the reason I scream so much and my brain doesn't want to shut up until I finish this book and the next five, four books after that, this time around, it was, I think this was easy because, firstly, I made sure I slept. I rested, no other stress. I told my family that I would be busy for three days. Not to talk to me or bug me for three days. I'm sorry, no bugging. Plenty of snacks, mentally prepared, excited. I think, I think that is the key. A lot of caffeine monster energy drink in my case but excitement i think that was the key excitement excitement about being so close to finishing this editing of a book that i just finished translating in june i think was it in june i think it was june and already 
so close to finishing my rounds of edits before I take it to the next next stage. And after that stage, it's the editor. Probably the second, and also after that, probably a second editor, just to be sure, because why not? Which means after my 25k words I have left, I can start illustrating. Or illustrating or talking to an illustrator. I have an uh, this idea. I'm gonna test with the test waters. I'm gonna illustrate a few some stuff myself. If I hate it, I'll pay someone to illustrate my book. If I love it, I'll illustrate my book myself. But yeah. But since camp is done and I had a blast, a freaking blast over the last three days doing these prints. I got to write with so many of you, both on Twitch and YouTube. I had so freaking much fun writing with you guys. Just you guys, the writing community that joined me, you guys make this so enjoyable. You help my mental state. The support this community shows or gives off it just willingly gives you is so overwhelming that it's beautiful and it's just shown me that I think I might be streaming and sprinting with you guys for the long haul because I just love it. I'm an antisocial person. <laughs> That's no secret. I'm very open about it. I'm introvert from hell but I don't feel like an intro when I'm hanging with you guys because you are just so freaking fun and I don't you don't sap my energy. Thankfully. That's pretty hard through the computer, but you don't sap my energy and I love it. So yeah, the main reason for the video is small update about how the stream three streams went. Extraordinary well. I'm so happy about them. I'm so energized. I'm actually energized. I'm recording this straight after my final 10 hour stream. Do I look tired to you? No. That's because you guys give me so much energy, you give me so much motivation that I'm actually hyped. I'm most likely gonna continue sitting here in the com front of the computer, at least for another two, three hours, to get my writing done just to see how close I can get to finishing that workout because if I finish that workout those 6,000 words I only have 19,000 words left to finish the book but first <laughs> I think it is a wise decision that I take at least a week weeks off so since camp is done I've been writing like a maniac I thought it would be a splendid idea since I have still have two weeks uh, left of my vacation from my day job that I would take uh, a week or two weeks off from YouTube and Twitch also just to fully recharge. I also want to start painting. I want to give myself time to just paint, write if I want to, even though you guys are never a chore. You're always a pleasure. Even though I do sometimes <laughs> to guilt trip people to leave me alone and give me space. <laughs> I do sometimes guilt trip some people, come on, this is my job. Leave me alone. I have to go up to, and show to my show up to my job. Blah, 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 blah. But you guys are just so much more fun than that. You are not a job. You guys are a passion I have. Because the more I stream, the more I connect with you guys, the more I realize I enjoy motivating you guys. I actually love it. If I can help you guys get motivated to write more, to have faith in your abilities, you can bet you I'm going to try. Just because I know that if I, if I, a dyslexic author. I know there are a lot of dyslexic authors out there, but 
with what I, my thought of myself and my writing abilities when I was 14, when I was 20, with my writing dreams of, I would never become a writer because I am dyslexic. Dyslexic people don't write books. We don't do this, we don't do that. And over the years of understanding and meeting a lot of people with different kind of struggles, different reason why they doubt themselves and doubt themselves and realizing that everybody can achieve greatness. They just have to believe they can. I think that motivating in itself, just knowing that if I believe in something or if I believe I can create something glorious, then knowing that I can, I just have to believe and not stop working and not give up, just keep on pushing. So yeah, mentally, I, this week, a weekend was very motivating for me. The last three days have been very giving. I've been very giving. You've been, when, been very inspiring. Watching you guys work, watching you guys show up, even though you don't have to show up and write with me for 10 hours. Some of you actually did wrote with me for 10 hours. Or did you stuck around for 10 hours? It is just mind-blowing. It is so motivating to see you guys reach your goals, to keep pushing, even though you're not always feeling great. And also knowing when to stop and take care of yourselves, like needing a break or just stopping back, even though you feel like you're failing yourself or others, knowing that you need to step back, just take care of yourself. But the fact that you keep on pushing and creating and motivating others, yeah. I just want to thank you guys for being beautiful human beings, for being precious human beings, for motivating me to work the best I can. That is the cat. I'm not going to edit that, that out. And just share you with you some real me. And the light is very annoying. Anyway. So yeah. Just wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Oh, this is such a spontaneous recording. The light is going flickering. The cat is walking. The cats are walking here. There's a fly that's annoying the hell out of me. But are we going to edit it? No. Are we going to Photoshop it to hell? No. Why? Because this is just how life is. We have flaws. We have things that shine. We have qualities. We have things that are not as much of a quality. Life is real. We are real. We are great. We are shining stars that have only to show our true glow. Anyways, now I'm talking talking in circles again. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking, as I said, I'm gonna be taking a week or two off just to recharge. You might actually get a timer for me next week. Weekend, of course, of course, you will get your timers. You will get your timers. Maybe a little updated video. I have a shop date, a um, shop update coming up hopefully next weekend. So wait, watch out for that. This one is taking her plans on trying to make writing and writing related stuff a full time thing so I can start doing this full time. I would actually not mind streaming full time. I wouldn't actually mind motivating people full time. Writing sense. I wouldn't mind actually just being a creating creative. So that is the goal. You will get a short uh, update from me next weekend when I open my store. Just motivating some small trinkets. And hopefully, after when I come to back come back in a week or two, I am going to dive headfirst into full-on creative working on finishing this book. And hopefully starting the next one. It's gonna be a very exciting time. A very exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait for the next chapter, guys. I can't wait. Anyways, thank you so much. Who all the people that joined me over the weekend, 
or the last three days. Thank you for everyone that is streaming with me, sprinting with me, joining me on my endeavors, watching my timers, subscribing, supporting. You are all beautiful human beings. I'm, I'm going to say this a thousand times. You should, you should be happy that I'm not sh sh having tears flowing down my face because if I was a little more mushy, I would definitely do that. But I'm not very mushy. Maybe time. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful late week. I'll see you when I get back. Full of energy. As we prep for November. Love you guys.